name is Allison. I'm the Programs, Outreach, and Youth Services Manager here at Monterey County Free Libraries. Thank you for joining me today for another Make It Monday. Today we are going to be making bear portraits. Rawr. That's my bear growl. Can you do a bear growl? Rawr. That one's a little bit better. So for this project you're just going to need a few things. First, what you will need is some sort of cardboard for your base. So I used an old cereal box that I cut up. You can also use an Amazon box or whatever cardboard you have lying around at home. If you don't have cardboard, you can just use a sheet of paper, but cardboard helps to give it a little extra stability. You are also going to need something to cover your area. So I used some old newspapers and this is great to protect whatever area you're working on from the paint, which you will also need something to put your paint in. So I have this old cardboard box that I used for paint, which leads me to the next thing. You're going to need some paint. So whatever color of paint that you want to use for your bear, I decided to make a polar bear so I used white, but you can use any color you want and I actually think a rainbow bear would be pretty cool. So whatever color you like. We are going to be doing this painting with a fork. So I am using a plastic fork that I got in a to-go container from a restaurant. It's a great way to reuse something that might otherwise just end up in the trash, especially if you don't use these when you're eating the takeout. If you don't have a plastic fork, you can use a metal fork as long as you're using some washable paint and you ask an adult ahead of time if that's okay and make sure you wash it very thoroughly before you use it next to eat. You will also need something round to help you trace if that's what you want or you can freehand your circles. I used a round bowl to make my bear's face. You're going to need some scissors, a pencil or a pen, a glue stick, some markers or other coloring utensils, and you're going to need some paper. So whatever color paper you want to use for your bear. I used some white scratch paper, but you could also use brown, black, rainbow colors, whatever you like. And lastly, you're going to need something for eyes. So I used eye stickers. You could use googly eyes. You can draw your eyes, whatever you like. Those are the materials you're going to need. So go ahead and gather those up and tune back in and we will get started making our bears. First, what we're going to do is set up our crafting space. So if you have a table at home like I do that has a tablecloth or something on it, you wanna make sure that that's protected. Even if there's no tablecloth, you wanna make sure it's protected since we're gonna be using paint today. So I just got some old newspaper out of the recycling. These are just those ads that come every week. And I'm just going to lay this down to make a nice base for my area so that if I get any paint off of my project, it doesn't go on my table. So I laid a few sheets down so that the area is nice and protected. Then what you're going to want to do is if you are using a cereal box for your cardboard like I am, we need to prep the cereal box. So you're not gonna be using the whole box, you're just gonna use one side. So we're going to cut the sides here and here so that we only have one sheet of cardboard. So there we have it. I have one rectangular piece of cardboard that we're going to be using for our project. Next, we are going to draw our bear's face. So if you're freehanding it, you will just draw a nice big circle in the middle to make his face, his or her face. And if you wanted to do tracing like I'm going to do, you'll take your bowl or whatever round object you're gonna be using. You'll put it so that it's not, you can see this is my whole rectangle here, taking up the whole camera. You don't want it right in the middle because we're gonna do ears. So put it a little bit towards the bottom. But as you can see, I still have a little bit of room on the bottom. So not all the way towards the bottom, but not all the way in the middle. And of course it's your bear, so you can do whatever you want in the end. So we have our nice circle there in the middle. And now I'm going to freehand my bear's ears on. So it's not quite a semi-circle, it's a partial circle. There. 
And as you can see, your bear's ears don't have to be perfectly even. This partial circle was a lot more even than this one. It doesn't matter. Part of what makes them so fun is that they all look a little bit different. Now we're going to get out our paint. So I have this little box that I use for my paint. I have my washable paint here. I'm going to make a polar bear. You can make any color bear that you want. It could be black, brown, white, green, orange. It could be a fun imaginary bear. So I'm just going to put some paint there in my box. I'll be moving my box off screen so that you can see my actual project. Then we are going to take our forks and this is what is going to make the texture of our bear's fur my box back for a second. You're going to take your fork and you're going to dab it in the paint and then you are going to come back to your bear and just start dabbing the paint around like that to make the texture of your bear's skin. And you'll keep going around like that until your bear is a fluffiness and texture that you like the look of. So this is my bear outline. It lost a tiny bit of the definition around the ears as you can see, but that's okay. We're gonna go back in and fix that in a little bit. Um, but now that we have this, what you're going to do is you're just going to let this sit for a little bit and dry because we want our paint to dry before we start adding on some of the more defining features of our bear. While we're waiting for our bears to dry, we can go ahead and do the ears and the snout. So for the bear's nose, I'm going to, since I'm doing a polar bear, again, I'm using a piece of white paper. It's just a piece of scratch paper and you can use whatever color paper you want to do. But what I'm going to do is I am going to draw a little round circle here and this is going to be his nose area. So now that I have that drawn, what I'm going to do is take a black marker or you could take a black crayon or just use your pencil or a pen and on this area I'm going to draw in his nose so a lot of bears have you know little little black noses like this you could draw whatever kind of nose you want this is just what I'm drawing for mine and to make his little mouth I'm gonna draw two little lines like that you can already see that kind of looks like a bear already so once you have your little mouth and nose area, however you like it, we are going to cut that out to eventually glue on to our cardboard where the rest of our bear's body is. So there's mine and my bear itself is still drying, but you could see where that would go on the bear. You wanna make sure that you make yours an appropriate size proportionally to your bear. That means that it's not too big for your bear or too small, but everything adds up and it looks like you would think it would look. Everything fits in its place. So that's gonna go right there once the bear is done drying. And to make a little bit more definition around the ears, you can use your paper, whatever color you have, to draw those little semicircles to put into where the ears are to give that a little bit more definition and then have the fur you know, jaunt out around the sides. So I'm going to do that as well using my pencil. Now that I have these cut out, you can see these are going to fit right in here into my bear's ears so that that gives the ear area a little bit more definition. Once your bear is fairly dry or, you know, dry enough, we're going to glue our little face pieces on. And your bear doesn't actually have to be 100% completely dry because the drying paint will actually help to stick the pieces of the face on. So we're going to take our little ears and snouts and we are going to put some glue on the back for some extra stability and stickiness. So I've got my nose nicely glued. Move my little ears out of the way. Here's my big bear. And 
I'm just gonna figure out, looks like it would be good right about there. Put it down. And you'll wanna tap around if yours isn't all the way dry so that you don't get a lot of paint on your fingers. You can see that mine wasn't all the way dry because some of the paint is coming off the sides, but like I said, that's okay. Next, we're going to put our little ear pieces on. And remember, your bear can be whatever colors you want. I have a stuffed animal polar bear that I absolutely love. So I'm making this in his honor. So I stuck true to white polar bear colors, but I think it would be really cool if you did like a rainbow bear, a green bear, yellow bear, whatever your favorite color is, you can make a bear in that color. All right, so I have those pieces laid down, but our bear is looking a little, a little blind right now. He doesn't really have any eyes. So you're going to take whatever eyes you decided you wanted to use, whether it was your googly eyes or if you're drawing your own or if you have some eye stickers like I do, and we're going to plop those right on. So I do think I'm going to use my eye stickers. My bear is going to have kind of small eyes there's one, there's two, and you can also wait until your bear dries completely and you could draw eyes on. So there are my bear's eyes. And you've got this fluffy little bear that you can hang up on your wall for a nice little decoration. And you can always, if you see some parts where the pencil's coming through, like I see a little bit on the side here, you can put down a little bit more paint. You can go back over now that you see the form that your bear has taken. And this is a great craft to do because you can make as many different colored bears as you want, as many different kinds of bears as you like. You can have a whole bear family and it uses some recyclable materials. We've got our recyclable cereal box. We're using a plastic fork, which isn't great for the environment, but if you get one delivered to you with some takeout or something, this is a lot better of an option than just throwing it away. So you could do that. And we're using scratch paper to make the other parts of our bear. I hope that you enjoyed making this bear craft. I would love to see a picture of how your bears turned out. So if you do this craft, please visit our Facebook page, Monterey County Free Libraries on Facebook, or tag us on Instagram at E underscore MCFL so that we can see how your bears turned out. We love to see pictures of finished crafts. Also, if you are feeling like immersing yourself in more bear activities, please watch the Bears Rhymes and Songs video that I posted last week. It's in our Rhymes and Songs playlist. There's all sorts of fun songs and rhymes about bears, and we even have visits from five different stuffed animal bears, my favorite. So again, I hope that you share your creations with us for this project and any other projects that you're working on or that you've done from other Make It Monday videos. I hope that you have a nice rest of your day, a great week, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.